What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to the first Wolf Angel Space Marine Chapter update. And as you may see on a couple of them, I'll just uh, move them around here. A couple of them are missing some, a couple of shoulder pads. So these have all been built from my spares. And the law behind these will follow shortly. Sorry, it's a little bit wobbly. I'm just uh, trying to find the best angle to show you the to that guy holding the helmet there. He, um, I just zoom in a bit on him. Make sure. I don't know if you could see that there. Let's pick him as an example. He's got a, um, a fine cast helmet there from a Space Marine Captain and a, and a Space Wolf head. I don't know whether they're going to be derived from the Space Wolves or the Dark Angels yet. Or whether they're going to be a mixture of both. But that is their chapter name. The Wolf Angels. As you can see there, all different bits I've used and I've chopped and changed a few things around, hands and arms. Uh, you can see here coming into the centre here now, the first of the ones that are missing shoulder pads because I ran out of shoulder pads. Well, shoulder pads that I don't have any iconography on. So, yeah, So, but I will get hold of, um, I just need three. Three blank shoulder pads because I'm going to do freehand for the the iconography on the majority of of the shoulder pads. So yeah, the Wolf Angels there they are a, a, an eclectic mixture of uh, different bits of armor, <laughs> power packs, backpacks. Some of them using old ones. There will be lore to follow. I have a color scheme in mind. I'm just going to pop this down. Now and zoom out somewhat. Oops, wrong way. There. So this, this is them. Um, so I, I've kind of done some different poses. And I hope they're okay. They look alright to me. I'm, I'm happy with them anyway. But yeah, so I bought the bases and the legs. Well, I already had the bases. Uh, but I bought the bases um, a, a long time ago. So I had these RGW. Uh, Games Workshop 32mm bases so they're going to be good for that. They do look better on the 32mm base I think so yeah there you go so that's that one there are a couple of these just uh, general posing ones. I, I like to have a lot of bolt guns in a, in a Space Marine tactical squad anyway I just I kind of like this, just the way he's holding the helmet there. I had to cut the hand off and reposition it to make it look right. And again, I gave him a, a Terminator arm, like to make make it that he could hold the the rocket launcher one-handed. I just thought it would look cool. Uh, this dude, I just got to get some shoulder pads. As you can see, old backpack as the majority of these guys are wearing. I'm thinking of having um, two squads of ten to start me off. This is my first squad of ten. As you can see he's got a, a power fist. This one. Giving them making them some of them space wolf heads. You know, I think it kind of works. Wolf angels, because you know it's gonna be even my wife's written a book, uh, the first in the Wolf Angel trilogy. Well, I think it's going to be a trilogy, but uh, anyway, yeah. Wolf Angel has a lot of history with my wife and I. So, see this guy here, he needs a, a shoulder 
pad to go on his right arm. But I love the pose where he's holding a, a plasma pistol and a bolt pistol as well. I just I just like that. Okay, so I need a couple of shoulder pads for this dude here. And there we are. So this is the first update of the Wolf Angel chapter. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a word, but chapter sums it up because that's what it is. Anyway guys, there we are. I will get on with priming them as soon as I, I locate a couple more shoulder pads um, from somewhere. I'll have a I'll have another look around, see if I haven't got any lying around. Uh, but the thing is I've separated all my bits, so I don't I don't think I have, but if I haven't I'll just um I'll see if I can order some. But anyway, there you go. I'll get on with them and show you the um the colour scheme. Um I don't know whether it's gonna be I don't know whether I'll wait until I've done one completely and then show you. I think that might be the best bet because um, otherwise it'll be a little while before I get them all done. But um, yeah, so if I just pick a, I don't know, like a fairly generalistic one, like like him, or uh, or him, and then paint them up in the colour scheme I've got in mind, then you can see for yourself and. Uh, judge for yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next update. Remember all brushes lead to war. Bye for now.